beside us today. My name is Nathan. I'm your humble and obedient host. We've got Benny's the preacher who's the teacher of sanity. We've got Jake. He's the pastor who's the master of sanity. They are both right here in Top Secret Studio B. Welcome to the podcast, gentlemen. Thank you, Nathan. You're welcome, Ben. Mm. Hi, Jake. Hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. I'm fine. Well, listen, we've got some business. We need to discuss the ways in which people can help Warhorn Media, help Sound of Sanity. We are getting into the fundraising end of year push. And how much money does Warhorn Media need? Warhorn Media, if you don't know, maybe you only know us through this podcast. Warhorn Media is the our, our overlords. They produce this podcast. I work for them. We all work for them uh, in various capacities. They produce all of our podcasts. Or they produce, what and would you say? We are, Warhorn Media is the multimedia nonprofit ministry that oversees all these things, all of our podcasts, all of our music, all of our books. Right. Associated with Evangel Presbytery and which which also is which is the presbytery that has Church of the King as a church plant. The church that Jake is the head pastor and Ben is the assistant pastor of. What do you think about that, listener? It's all layers of connection. It's pretty cool. Put that in your cork board. Do you imagine that there's people trying to solve the mystery of <laughs> who we all work for? <laughs> And how, and they've got strings and corkboard and stuff like that. Grainy security cam photos. <laughs> Gra- grainy security. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just about the saddest. If he thinks this man is a hat, he is past the Jake. He was seen as this part of Newburgh. Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Very easy mystery to solve. We basically yeah. just laid it all out for you. Yeah. So I, I hope you didn't give your life to, <laughs> to that particular. Anyway, we are trying to uh, raise some funds here at the end of the year. How much does Warhorn Media need to raise? We, we project that we need $60,000 going into 2023. So, yeah. So how can people help us out with that? You can go to warhornmedia.com forward slash give and give a tax deductible donation in any amount or you can sign up to support this show or any number of other shows on patreon.com this one of course patreon.com forward slash sound of sanity yes personally i'm i'm sincerely praying that we have 10 people just sign up for six thousand dollars a month make things easy make things easy that'd be sixty thousand dollars a month that would make things real oh yeah no no yeah i just meant one time donations but i said it in a stupid wrong way that i did not intend to because i do not sleep because i have a newborn but yes, I'm I'm hoping that ten people are just like I have six thousand dollars actually that I could give, and so if you're listening and you're one of those people, then and and you could really spare it, then I appeal to you. But obviously, we've we've always believed greatly in the widow's might and greatly in getting support from Joe podcast listener out there, and so any amount you can give, we really appreciate it. Yeah. And did we said we said make one time? Did we say our, about our Patreon? Yes. Okay. All right. So that's the ask. That's what we need. Please uh, preferably consider helping us out. You are the ones who keep Warhorn Media going. So thank you for that. Now, guys, let's talk more generally what's going on in the wide world of Warhorn Media and the projects that we're working on right now. We just finished The World We Made Season 3 on abortion it's all done you can listen to all eight episodes over on the world we made feed available wherever fine podcasts are downloadable except for spotify we don't use spotify they are evil believe me if you're a producer on these things and you read their fine print you will be scared that's why we don't do it even though it would be convenient for some of you that use spotify i like spotify too but listen they'd own us they'd own all the stuff i don't want to give them that to spotify i'm sorry they can't have it but anywhere else that fine podcasts are downloadable, you can listen to The World We Made, the season on abortion and with Pastor Tim Bailey, which is which is great and I think really picks up steam as it goes. And we talk about some how shall we then live kind of stuff. I mean, we really get into like the, the tensions of it, things like civic disobedience, like what do you actually do? as you live in this world and what are the ramifications of it and how do we talk about that in a way that's not just silly or shallow but has some depth and some nuance but also real hatred of sin and yeah i recommend that what's what else is going on in the world of warhorn gentlemen oh let's see we've got some more sanity on the scene coming out Mm -hmm. our youtube show youtube show not too many more episodes now i don't think i think we've got about i think we've got about half actually still less than half but 
got like five episodes to go or something mm-hmm. like that. It's 12, yeah. 12 episodes season. That's been a lot of fun. If you don't know what that is, what is it? It is our brand new YouTube show where we talk about how to watch movies. It's made for you and your teenagers. It's made to teach basic ideas about film grammar and how to discern what's actually going on in all those images that are transforming your brain and your teenager's brain in, uh, you know, six to eight minute chunks that are really fun of, of us talking about movies with complete with movie clips and stuff. Yes. I like the way that these things have turned out. We just released one the week of this recording where I talk a lot about the history of films and it's just really fascinating to contemplate the fact that like in 1890 there was no such thing as moving pictures and 20 years later in 1910 there was a moving picture industry and there was film grammar and then by 1920 i'm scant 30 years later you have films like doing all the stuff you have this whole visual vocabulary that's developed it's just crazy to contemplate how the world changed and how people's brains were rewired and how much we're still actually just beginning to wrap our head around what the advent of moving pictures means for society. I mean, we Mm -hmm. all just take it for granted, but it's like this crazy thing just happened. And I really don't think that there's an invention that's like it. I mean, the printing press, I think, is the closest analog but it's not like people did. The printing did. press didn't invent a whole new media. Right. It would be like if the printing right. press, if someone invented a language and a printing press at once. I mean, as, as we say in the episode, like, name a, a powerful invention, you know, the car. Well, the car is just a faster buggy without horses. A gun. Well, people have been killing each other with projectile weapons pretty much since the beginning of time. They just got better at it. Most, a plane. Okay. It's a car, but. It's got wings. Like most inventions are building on something that already existed. But movies and moving pictures, it's like. Here's so you a, would say the theater, but. Yeah, you e- could say the theater. Even then, it's it, it's such. it's. I think the analog really is the airplane. Yes. Right. The airplane's like a car, but it does something completely different. Yes. You know, a carriage, but it does something completely different and it flies. This is like the theater. But it does something completely different because now you have, you know, this thing called the camera and the things that it can do, the close, the close up, the angles, all of those things. And then combined with the score, right? it's, it just is its own fresh new thing. It's a carriage with wings. Yeah. I mean, we talk about on the episode, when you die, when you go on your honeymoon, when you go to India, you will already have so many ideas about what those things feel like and what they're supposed to feel like. And what the background music like like you think you know what india looks like somebody in the 1800s just read about it or saw a black and white picture like the idea that there's this whole vocabulary of human experience that everyone has access to everyone thinks they should have access to and that never existed until about 100 years ago and change so fascinating topic you can hear us talk more concretely and more concisely about it over there uh sanity on the scene YouTube. That's just an example of the kinds of things that we'll put hopefully in a package that's not like hoity toity philosophy, but something that you and your teenagers and tweenagers maybe even can can enjoy. Some 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 fun, some comedy and stuff. What else is going on in the world of Warhorn, gentlemen? Jake's got a book about to be published. Jake does have a book about to be published. Yeah. Called Who Is Jesus? A, a book on the person and work of Christ. Anything you want to say about that? No, it's small, it's simple, it should be cheap, it should be available on Amazon December 1st, and we'll sell it in bulk if it's the kind of thing that you turns out you want to you know, use at your church for any reason, just contact us and we'll give you a good discount on it. I say um, this it's the, available for free, too, online. Yes. So I say this in a way that I think I do not mean to be insulting. <laughs> it is a book that belongs on the table at your church, the table where there's the, I mean, that's kind of how it was designed. Yeah, it's, like, right. it's like a little evangelistic, you know, a, a book that you can go through with somebody just, here's five things you need to understand. Hand it to Jesus. somebody and they might actually read it. They might actually read it. It's simple. It's clear. It's laid out on the page in such a way that somebody might want to read it or find it easy to read. Yeah. We, our, 
our church meets at the local YMCA and our, we have a really great relationship with the Y. And so one of the goals is, well, let's have something that we can just have setting out at the Y. Yeah. That people can take. So yeah, it's great. Yeah. Speaking of our church, if you want to go over to the church of the King Evansville feed, where our sermons are published, you can hear Jake continue his sermon, his series on Romans. It's all in Romans. He's blazing through it what, what we halfway have? through romans four halfway through romans four finish up romans four this week unless i decide to do a an entire sermon on infant baptism there you go i've been toying with a little bit <laughs> that could be fun either yeah. way folks oh yeah you're not going to want to miss it so you can go over and listen to those if you're interested we've also got our american gods series you usually like me and ben will fill in separately when when Jake's not preaching and Mm -hmm. uh, Ben just did one on Mormonism, American gods being the big ideas, the, that influence our culture, the, the gods that we worship, the, so we did one on Marxism that you can find. We did one on Mormonism and we'll be doing more of those. That's fun. What else is going on in the world of things that we're working on? We have made some real progress, I think on the final season of the bill. Yes. I think maybe we talked about that last time, but it's we true. Did. I'm I'm excited about it. Hmm. We also released the Nightmare on Cold Clutch Farm, the Chip and Lance thing. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too scary for your kids, but the right amount of scary. So, which I I realize, uh, what's the word? Something may vary on that. Your mileage. mileage. Your mileage may vary on how much you want something to be scary, but. Our aim was for like Harry Potter one through three level scary. I think that was what was kind of in my mind as the guidepost. Like that seems to be a level of scary that people like. So we'll try for that level of scary. And I dare say we got at least there. But uh, yeah, so you can listen to that and you can look forward to, I hope, the Ville season three, Lord willing, in 2023. Don't want to make any promises we can't keep. Our cast lives in at least three different cities across these great United States of America, if you can mm-hmm. even call them that anymore. But we're working on it. We're excited about it and just ready to hang out with Pastor Stu again. I think that's what we've all been saying to each other. What else is going on, gentlemen? We've got a revamped out of our minds coming soon. Don't have much else to say about that besides that it's coming. It's coming. Booking is reading... Yes. Cormac McCarthy. Booking is in the month of December. We will be doing Tolkien's Letters to Father Christmas or From Father Christmas, which if you don't know what that is, it's Tolkien really sweet. wrote a thing, some letters from Father Christmas. You can hear us talk about that. You can also hear a bonus episode that will drop, Lord willing, sometime mid-December, I guess, on Cormac McCarthy's new novel, The Passenger, which is either... I, I, one of these is true. They're not both true, but I'm not going to tell you which one. It's either... <laughs> really great or horrible. One of those two things is true. You'll it's either to. totally worth your time or definitely not worth or it. Or definitely. It's definitely not worth your time. What, it, what it's not is ah, kind of in between, you know, that was interesting. What it, no, it's mm-hmm. like it's going to get a strong reaction out of us. Yep. And I dare say most people who've read it, it's gotten one of those two strong reactions out of. It's not really a novel that you can respond to by halves or whatever. And not meant to be, yeah. No, no, it's meant to be divisive. All right, anything else? Yeah, sanity at the movies. We just finished watching something, and we're definitely watching the Christmas Carol stuff. So yeah, we're going to do a uh, Stagecoach is what we just finished watching. We just finished watching Stagecoach, a wonderful Western really, movie that made John Wayne a star. A lot of fun talking about that movie. A lot of fun talking about Westerns. We ended up having oh, yeah. a really great conversation just about the Western genre and the Westerns that we like and Westerns that we want to watch and thing. Westerns are just fun to talk about. So that was a fun episode and you can hear some history of the European influence on the West that Ben found for us. I'm not on the West, but on the Western mm-hmm. as a genre, as a literary genre. What was the name of the thing for the Fuhrer? The Fuhrer, the, uh, <laughs> what was that guy? Oh man. Uh, he was, he was talking about Carl May or whatever. And he said... <laughs> Carl May being a famous German mm-hmm. writer of Westerns. Yeah, he called him the cowboy mentor of the Führer. Yeah, if you want to hear more about that, we us not tell people anything else, but that's a good episode to listen to. We've got, you know, recent episodes on Psycho. We did our Halloween episode. We did The Godfather not too long ago. Those have been the ones that I think have maybe 
people have really enjoyed. So check those out for some classic <laughs> cinema discussion. And we will be doing an episode we're calling The Turn of the Scrooge, where each one of us has been assigned a different movie about that irascible gentleman, Ebenezer Scrooge. I'll be, watch, we, I'll, I'll be watching George C. Scott because I drew the long straw. Jake, I believe. We had the middle straw. You drew the middle straw? You'll be watching Alistair Sim. Yep. An old short straw soldier. <clears throat> hey, I was, I willingly. No, you you threw yourself on this grenade. I did. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm excited. I, I'm going to watch one of two old Christmas Carol movies, the 35 or the 38. One of them, I don't even remember which, is actually called Scrooge. And the other is called A Christmas Carol. Yes, and this is one of them star, I want to say, Reginald Owen. <laughs> That's perhaps? right, Reginald Owen. And the other one, I can't remember the dude's name. But I, I'm, I'm interested to see both. Yeah, well, I, I hope you come back and say, guys, Scott can rot and Sim can... Let's dim Sim and let Scott rot. Yeah. Because whatever one you're going to recommend will... Right, because o- Owen is growing. Because Owen is growing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. Yeah, good good times. You got to see that wonderful conceit that I just had, folks. Yeah. <clears throat> First it was a seed, and then you saw it blossom into pure podcasting gold, and then you saw it wither and die. Speaking of withering and dying, I think it's time for this podcast to wither and die, unless we have any other Warhorn news we want to share. Speaking of withering and dying, Warhorn Media might wither and die yes. without your support. <laughs> without your support. <laughs> That's right. That would have been a better segue. Yeah, go go to patreon.com forward slash sign of sanity. Or more importantly, if, if you want to just give us a one-time kind of holiday gift or even set up more general reoccurring giving tax deductible, of course, go to warhornmedia.com forward slash give, and you can do it there. Everybody, everybody little bitter battle, battle butter, paddle, muddle. Paddle, puddle. Tweedle beetles battle in the puddle with their paddles in the paddle, paddles in a bottle and bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles. How many? Something. Yeah. Fox and socks, sir. That's right. Fox and socks. Used to have that whole book memorized. I had to read it. So many uh, times. I believe Don't me, anymore. I'm getting it memorized now and I resent every moment of it. <laughs> oh, not, come on. Just I do not like <laughs> him sam i am no uh, fox and sex is like the best of all of them the thing is better one fish two fish was is it this very podcast was it in this recording where i started things by saying you guys' names really fast where i did that little yep. cute I think bit so, of business yeah. i like doing that kind of thing i like tongue twisters i like talking really fast it's something that gives me great joy but the problem with fox and socks is that it's all so sort of abstract that and unexpected and just like random that my brain can't Keep up with it. So it sounds like yeah, it's awesome. <coughs> sounds great. Yeah, yeah. But let's, like, tell me, tell me, start, like I, I, I could read War and Peace really fast if my daughter would just bring that. But since she brings stupid fox and socks, and I was like, ah, I don't know how to make head nor tail of this. Hide nor hair. Hide nor hair. This buttle battle beetle buttle be be battle. It's, it's see, I, I can't even ad lib it. It's just my brain doesn't work that way, and I resent it, and I resent Doctor Seuss and his weird overbite menagerie of characters so you're wrong yeah i I think i am yeah i I think you are i agree with you i agree with you on that i loved doctor having dr seuss red to me but now the red shoe blue shoe two shoe is on the other foot and that does not make me happy maybe when my daughter's old enough for cat and hat i'll like that i always did like that feline menace and his headgear all right folks thanks for listening do support the podcast and support our work warhornmedia.com forward slash give and patreon.com forward slash sound of sanity until next time stay sane <laughs>